Today, we are going to be playing FIFA 20 career mode, but we're going to let rock, paper, scissors decide our signings. Yes, boys, that is right. This is the rock, paper, scissors career mode challenge. And here is how things are going to work. Here are the rules. So pretty much we are going to have unlimited funds, unlimited money to sign players. But the catch is we can only sign 10. Before we sign the player, we must first choose the player that we want to sign and then play a game of rock, paper, scissors. If we win that game, we could just go ahead and sign that player. If we draw and we both pick the same thing, say we both choose paper, then we must sign the middle rated player on the team. We get a bit of a downgrade. And if we lose, we have to sign the lowest rated player on the team. And then, yeah, finally, you can only make one signing per team. So I can only sign one player from Barca, one player from Liverpool, so on and so forth. But we're going to use this same method to choose our team as well. So I'm going to play rock, paper, scissors. If I guess it right, I get the team I want. If not, we draw, we get a middle rated team in that league. And if we lose, we get the worst rated team in that league. And God, I do not want that to happen. So yeah, so that being said, let's get into this episode. If you guys are going to enjoy, leave a big old thumbs up. Follow me on Caffeine, where I should be live streaming right now. If you guys are watching this video when it's uploaded. And of course, Instagram as well, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Right, this is the team that I want. But will I get this team? Obviously, Liverpool is, for me, the best team in career mode. If we win, we get them. If we draw, we're going to get a middle team, such as... I guess if we were to draw, we'll just take a four-star rated team. And then if we lose, we got to take is Norwich. I think they are the worst team in the league. Yeah. So let's hopefully not lose this right here. All right, boys. Here we go. We got to do rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's do it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. We draw. That's fine. Oh, I wanted Liverpool. I guess if we would have won and we would have gotten Liverpool, like, it would have been maybe too easy, so we got to choose a four-star team now that we cannot use Liverpool. So, we got Newcastle, Sheffield, Southampton, Watford is one, West Ham is one, Wolves, Bournemouth. I'm thinking I'm going to go with Wolves. Let's go. Let's do Wolves, man. I am feeling Wolves for this one. Let's go with them and get into the career mode. Oh, and I should also note that just to spice things up, we're going to throw them into the Champions League because that always makes things more fun. Um, What the hell happened here? I tried to give us unlimited funds and somehow we have negative 727 million pounds. Does that even does that even make sense? What? OK, we've gone on and fixed it. It's not unlimited. Well, technically it is unlimited money. It's only a billion pounds. But with the way I've said it, even if we sign a player, this will not increase and we'll just stay at a billion pounds for the entire season. So I think with that, let's get into the signings. Actually, no, let's look at the starting 11 first because we kind of need to see what we want to improve on this team. Now, do I want to keep three at the back? Probably not. But what we're going to do is make signings first and then probably decide on the formation then because like, honestly, I have no idea what this team's going to look like come the end of it. We could get all of our players or we could get literally none of them. So the first player we are going to go in big, we are going to choose Barcelona and we are going to try to sign the man Lionel Messi. Now, when I play rock, paper, scissors, scissors, you will see the players listed above me. It will have the best player, the middle rated player, and then the lowest rated player. And depending on what happens, those are the players that we're going to get. So let's hope for Messi. And I should note the way that I'm doing this is just a random rock, paper, scissors game that I found online that literally just gives us one. So let's do it. Here we go, boys. I think I'm going to go with rock again. Please, please, please get this right. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, man. Am I the worst rock, paper, scissors player of all time? Okay, we get the lowest rated player. Here he is, Alex Collado. Oh God, 65 rated. Maybe, I honestly don't know. Does this dude have good potential? Maybe, and he isn't necessarily the lowest rated player on Barcelona, but he's one of the lowest rated players. So it's not the exact lowest rated player. If some of you guys are down there in the comments just complaining, I guess we got to sign him. And why does this hurt, man? We have unlimited money. I'm going to overpay for him just because we can. We have all this money and we have to buy this dude, 65 rated. All right, Liverpool is a big club because we can only get one player per club and I am going with Virgil van Dyke. Now, what do I do here? Do I go with Rock again? I think I'm going to switch it up. Let's do it. Here we go, boys. We need big boy van Dyke in this team. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh my God. What is happening? Why am I doing this video? Why am I literally doing this video if I'm gonna lose every single time? Adios, Van Dyke from the shortlist. Let's back out. And I believe this was the, no. I accidentally shortlisted him again. I believe this is the man who we have to sign now. He goes by the name of, I have it on my computer. Hoover, where is he? Is this him? I think this is him, 17 years old. I know this dude has potential, but in a career mode that lasts one season, that's not what we need. We need big boy players. So Hoover, 
Welcome to the damn team. Jan Oblak is the player we're going for next. And I think what I need to do is just stick with something until I win. Because if I keep switching, then I'm... I don't know. That's just mind games. Like, it's literally just luck, isn't it? So let's just stick with our best choice. Here we go, boys. Rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Okay, finally, man. We stick with paper. We get our first player in. And to be honest, like, this might be the best of the three just because the high-rated goalkeeper, like, you always need a high-rated goalkeeper. And what we can do is literally just pay his release clause because we have unlimited money. Helian Mbappe is the player I'm going to go for, the only PSG player we're going to try and sign. And look at this, man. So far, it's been mixed. If we can get Mbappe here, we should be getting things back on the right track. I think... I'm going to start to mix it up now. I'm just literally going to go with whatever comes off the top of my head. So here we go for Kylian Mbappe. Rock, paper, scissors. Boom. Let's go. Okay, scissors comes in clutch for us. Kylian Mbappe is in the team. Let's go, boys. 89 rated Mbappe. Does he have a release clause? He doesn't. So we actually have to go in for him. All right, should I do this just because we can and we have unlimited money? Should we make Kylian Mbappe the highest rated signing of all time? 900 99 million for Kylian Mbappe. Let, let, let's see what PSG have to say about this. What are we saying? Is that fair? He thinks it's a fair offer. Well, no freaking So we're picking up some momentum here. We're going to keep going back in for players. But who do I want to sign next? What do we need? Should we get a fullback? Let's go for a fullback. Actually, this is a good one, man. Joshua Kimmich. And we all know what happened in the video I did. What was it? I think it was last week where the idea was every time we sign a player, a player got released. Can we flash back what happened when I signed Joshua Kimmich or tried to sign him? This time, Kimmich, we are going to avenge you. Let's go. Joshua Kimmich, can we go three for three in the last three rounds? Let's see if we can do it, boys. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, boom. Are you kidding me? Dudes. Rock has never... I think I'm 0 for 3 with Rock so far. I literally just need to stop doing Rock because it is not working. Dudes, this one sucked too because if you saw the players we could have won, If even if we would have drawn there, we would have gotten, uh, gotten Alfonso Davies, which would have been dope. And I think this is the dude we have to sign. Believe it or not, I think this is the lowest rated player on Bayern Munich. They just have a lot of... Wait, no. Uh, Arp is. But... Since we're still, like, we're in the midfield defense category, this was the player that was assigned as the worst player, which actually isn't bad. A 72-rated player who's probably got decent potential. I'll take it in the team. Right, we are halfway through, and what are we, two for three so far? I guess it could be worse, but that's not bad. We haven't drawn yet, and I, I think this is the one that we're going to, like, this is a win-win situation. So I'm going to go for Marco Royce, and the middle player that is listed for Marco Royce, as you guys are going to see, is Holland. So... If we draw here, we get Holland. Obviously, we don't want to lose, but I feel like the odds are in our favor. It's a 66% chance we're going to either get Royce or Holland. So here we go. Let's see it, boys. Rock, paper, scissors is on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, I mean, like I said, that's fine. Oh, we don't get Royce. Well, let's check out our main man, Holland. Where is he at? We draw, we get Holland. Maybe that one was a bit... I think that one might have been a bit unfair because, I mean, 80 rated, Holland is kind of considered a average rated player on this team, so it works. Holland, I guess, welcome to the team. And I'm going to try to predict the future right here. As we know, Holland just moved to Dortmund. This is the transfer fee that I think a big, big club is going to pay for him in the future. 160 mil. I think Holland one day will be worth 160 million. Now, since we ended up losing out on Kimmich, we still need a fullback. This is one that, ah, this might trigger some people. Like, I could go for Ronaldo in this club. I could go for Dybala. But I'm gonna go for Alexandro. We need fullbacks. We gotta get one in sooner or later. He's one of the better fullbacks in this game. So, let's see if we can win Alexandro via rock, paper, scissors. Here we go, boys. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Let's go, boys. We finally, oh my god. We finally, we finally win using rock. Oh my god, it took so long. Damn, and now thinking about it, like I said... That literally could have just been Cristiano Ronaldo right there. Oh, that might have been a dumb move. But at least we get a fullback into the team, I guess. Alexandro for 50 million. We got three signings left. And I'm going to go for an Ajax player, a club that we have not used yet. Ziyech, who I believe is the highest rated player on this Ajax team. It would get ourselves a midfielder in. So let's see if we can do it. Freaking Ziyech. All right, you know what? We just won with Rock, so let's try it again. Here we go, boys. Rock, paper, scissors, boom. Oh, my God. 
rock, rock, rock. I hate rock. I'm never doing, I'm never doing rock again. I've learned my lesson. I'm like one for four using rock. Ziek, remove you from the short list. And who was the player for, who was the player? Danilo, who in the hell is Danilo? All right, Danilo, 66 rated. Just the man that I wanted on this team. That was sarcasm, let's go. Ziak, he is literally gonna cost us 1 million pounds. Do we have enough money for it? Yeah, we should, we, we, we definitely have money for it. We still have that billion pounds up there in the corner. All right, Ziak, or Ziak, sorry, not Ziak. We lost Ziak, 4 million for our boy Danilo. Not the player we wanted, but he's in. A club that I have not tried to sign a player from is Real Madrid. Let's go for Sergio Ramos. We failed on, we did fail on Van Dyke, right? Yeah, we didn't sign Van Dyke. We need a center. Actually, we need this one bad, man. Um, Sergio Ramos, 27 years of... It. That is literally not Sergio Ramos. What am I doing? Right, Sergio Ramos is now here on the screen. We got the right Ramos. Let's see if we're going to be able to sign him. This is our second to last attempt. So here we go, boys. Rock, paper, scissors, boom. Oh, my God. No, I mean... Wait, is that bad? Who was the player? Who was the middle player? Oh, wow. Okay. This... We're chilling, boys. Maybe this one was a bit unfair too, but Real Madrid have a lot of good players. So technically this is sort of like a middle rated player on their team. We got ourselves freaking Adair Militeo. Let's go. Actually, I'll take that. He's got potential too. So I guess this isn't worst case scenario. Welcome to the team Militeo. So the final player, this is going to be the 10th and last one added to our team. I'm going to try to go for the newly signed Bruno Fernandez. Let's see if we can get him on our club. Get him, bring him into Wolves. So let's go for it. The final attempt. Come on, man. The last one has to work. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Boom. Should have known we were going to lose that. Adios, Bruno Fernandez. And who's the... Oh, it's Gardner, man. Oh, I know this dude. I know this dude all too well from our Manchester United career mode we did on stream. Oh, God. James Gardner. James... Oh, God, no. Right. Here are all of the players that we have signed. I mean, did I think we did pretty well. Like I said, it could have been a lot worse. But we get 91 O-Block, 89 in Mbappe. We get Holland, which was a draw, but it's kind of a dub, honestly. Alexandro, Adam Uh, Could have been a lot better. Like I said, it could have been a lot worse. But let's put these guys in the starting 11. And let's do this. First off, I want to switch the formations around because I definitely don't want five at the back. Let's go. Did we even sign any wingers? I kind of just want to see who we have in the team first. Which players are going to make it? So, obviously, Oblak is going to be in there. We didn't sign a center back, which sucks. I'm going to play Mbappe out on the wing, I think. Um, Alexandro will go in. Let's see. Who's going to be out at center back? So, we got to throw Edmund Lateo. God, man. We could have done so much better. Triore is going to have to go on the bench. Oh, man. We kind of... We could have done so much better. Let's throw you in there. So, I think what we're going to do... Holland in. That's not Holland. We need it. We need a new formation bad. So I think what I'm going to do is try this formation right here. It means Holland's going to be a super sub, but I think that's fine. Maybe by the end of the season, he'll be starting anyway. Adama Traore is going to sit on the bench. I'd rather start Jota over him for now while he's higher rated. And then, I mean, all these dudes that we signed, the lower rated players, maybe we'll get some playing time, but probably not. Right. There's only one thing left to do. End of the season we go and we'll see if we can even come close to winning the league with this team mm, i don't know man it's not looking good all right the end of the season is here and i think if, i think if we get top five it's gonna be a miracle honestly there's one thing that could help us though it's having oblock and net so let's go ahead and find out if we have managed to get top 10 okay we're at least top 10 top nine top eight seven six top five. Oh my god we're actually top four we've gotten wolves to a champions league spot even with this team even only getting a few players in and that is what I expected. You know what, man? For what we were able to do, fourth place isn't bad. And just, just imagine if we won that first thing of rock, paper, scissors, and we got to keep Liverpool. This would have just been too easy. And I feel like things couldn't have fared better for us in the Champions League, have they? Okay, 6-0. I mean, to be fair, we had an easy group. Oh, we're topping it. We're moving on. And we get a draw against Leverkusen, which is dope. We're on to the quarterfinals. And there's that. Okay, Barca knocks us out. And... Liver dude, if we just would have gotten Liverpool, I feel like that might have been too easy though. So I guess it was a little bit better that we got Wolves. Here is gonna be the final squad that we ended with. Mbappe to a 91. Holland was up to an 83 though. I wonder what he did. I'll be honest, I'd like I'd be really interested to see. 
Mbappe had to have been a top goal scorer, right? I mean, he had to. Yeah, he is. Jota, oh my god. Yo, what a season from this dude. The Portuguese, man. Traore in there. Yo, did ha Holland only... Oh, man. Wow. Interesting. They must have switched players around. And Mbappe probably started at striker. Obviously, yeah. So, Traore, the way the CPU did it, Traore at right wing, Jota at left wing, and Mbappe at striker. So, I put those players there. And it literally did not matter. But to be fair... I'll take that result from that team with what we were given. But yeah, yo boys, I mean, this is so much fun to do. These kind of IRL challenges in career mode. What do you guys think? Do you want to see more of them? Let me know in the comment section. What should we do next? Like, there are so many different things we could do. Rock, paper, scissors today. Next week, who knows, boys? Just stick around. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you have not already. And with that, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another upload. Catch you guys then. Peace.